Hello and welcome back to the channel Bluff Rose Passam My Journey. So have you noticed that you are um, way more angrier if the word exists um, than you used to be and way more emotional like getting too happy or too sad or too depressed and too often too suddenly everything at the extreme have you seen yourself crying a lot or have you seen yourself uh, even crying while laughing all of these are symptoms of dystonia and i only uh, came to know after reading books i don't remember exactly the name of the books but yes in dystonia I again don't remember which side of the brain uh, I think the right brain is uh, is uh, what brings out the emotions and the left brain is what manages it or controls it if it is too high or too low so they both work in balance so you are able to laugh while uh, uh, you are happy and uh, when you are sad, you are able to cry or control your anger or control uh, your too much happiness or too much sadness without totally bursting out or totally crying, uh, weeping out a lot. So one brain is control, uh, one brain is producing and the other brain is controlling. So in dystonia, one side of the brain is totally down, going gone down in my case at least. Uh, and the other side of the brain is continuously producing the emotions. So what happened? Uh, when I was too much in love with my kids and I go hug them with all the love, I get spasms. I used to get so much, my eyes can't open and my face has the whole spasm. Uh, in the joy, I couldn't even handle a positive emotion. Uh, forget about the ne negative emotions and all the blunders, mistakes and uh, uh, bad uh, words that came out of my mouth or very hurtful uh, situations that I put uh, other people in. So when it comes to the positive emotions, continue to meditate, continue to uh, have the positive uh, uh, emotions uh, let them out and s they will automatically come into uh, control you will be able to handle very soon when i say very soon it depends on uh, how many years you had been having dystonia again so every time i hug my kids now uh, i am hugging them out of all the love but at the same time i'm watching my symptoms if my eyes are closing shut so when I'm hugging them, I calm down all my muscles and try to open. This is how I'm practicing my positive uh, emotions. So I want to hug them with my eyes open. <laughs> so that's how I'm managing the positive side. When it comes to negative side, I made really, really, really many mistakes of screaming at my family. And my kids used to be scared of me and my husband didn't know what, why, what happened to me. Because we did not understand what is dystonia. We did not understand what, uh, what kind of symptoms it will have also. Uh, and I, I really hurt my brother. I really hurt my parents. And I also cried a lot. So, how to deal with this? So, just understand that you, you are... This is normal in dystonia and you just have to meditate. Calm down. Just don't throw the harsh words. And just deal with it. Just for the first thing to deal with it is understanding that this is normal in dystonia and understanding that you are going, these are all the symptoms. Uh, the brain is playing tricks with you and now it's your time to say that you are the master and not the brain and so again i suggest meditation here why am i so much stressing on the meditation 
so in such situations where when it comes to emotions it, it gives you clarity of the situations the more and more and more you meditate you calm down you relax and gives you it gives you clarity on the situations around you and it gives you clarity on the people what they are talking how they are trying they might be actually trying to soothe you to uh, give you some uh, comfort but you might take it totally in a different way and uh, so it gives you a clarity it gives you maturity on on how things can be handled in a different way better way most of all it calms you down and you will start uh, being able to deal with emotions and foresee things and foresee solutions for the situations around you and the and the things uh, life's uh, situations that you're dealing with uh, life events that are happening around you it, you will be able to handle all of things all of this better than you uh, were previously at least during the dystonia then it will give you clarity on all the emotions both positive and negative it slows you down when it comes to negative you will stop and say hey this is a negative emotion i don't want to talk rudely here or i just don't want to spill out all the words and i don't want to hurt them they are my closed ones they are my loved ones so overall it gives you a control over your brain and you can teach the brain that it is a slave and you are the master and you will handle things better than how i have already i handled and i made all the mistakes so i hope you will this is an educational uh, video uh, that this is normal and i hope you don't make all the mistakes that i made and uh, you have a positive uh, positive phase of dystonia and it's okay to have the negative as well but just deal with it uh, in a better way i hope you continue to meditate and deal with dystonia and get well soon and my prayers with me will be with you as always and thank you for watching bye bye